All right, guys, I am back. There's Stephanie. That was shit. That did not cost him it. What? Who called the cops? It's a girl with a tattoo. Oh shit, she's smiling like a bitch. Oh! That's it? Whoa! Ah! Uh. Um... I'm start episode two. But, um, anyway, guys, welcome back to Live is Strange. Before the storm. Previously. Um. I don't hear nothing. Like, beyond no dialogue talking. Oh shit! That dude with the suit on? Is that his. That's her dad? Now that bizarred me right there. Like, that sh made me scared a bit. <laughs> that was girl! I swear, they're better be talking in this, because. I know from the last gameplay from episode one, there was like a whole bunch of freaking dialogue in this. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then just sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. The Blackwell's fuck you look at me like that for, bitch? is built upon a foundation of mutual respect Why meant to foster an environment so conducive to education Don't you and know I'm just a teenager? <laughs> Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Oh shit, Price, I actually did that once at my we school. Met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? 
Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell what? I was! I stood up for that little weirdo. I then how do you explain the desecration him. of Mr. Prescott's photography project? I didn't say I was successful. Oh, Chloe. Bullying? Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Well, it's true. He did throw that book. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. Cut. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. <sighs> we needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See... Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Why does that chick with a red jacket on, on like you uh... just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full Ca story, Rachel. Ray. Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or trick her? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Oh. No. I fucked her up. <sighs> what? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, 
accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy... Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. <sighs> no. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly, but that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this, but Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions beginning now will be weighed heavily in that decision. But Do you understand damn bug me? They was gonna be Both there. of you. Yeah. I mean, as much as I ever do. Chloe? We I'm understand, being honest. Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Bye -bye.